These fancy fish cakes are a real catch. Back of the net. Fish cakes can be really, really simple, especially if you've already got mashed potato made, which is kind of our cheat today. Leftover Easy. mashed potato. We're going to add into it prawns, crab meat, sweet potato, and chive. Cook them off, bit of chilli jam. And it starts with sweet potato, which I think mm -hmm. is our kind of twist to this. So what we're going to do is peel up the sweet potato and then grate it. So we've got our cooked mashed potato, but we're also adding in the sweetness and the texture of grated potato. So when you fry them and then bake them in the oven, you get a bit of added oomph. For this one, we only need 200 grams of grated potato, so the rest we can save for another day. So that's the trickiest bit done? Quite literally. Everything else just needs chopping and mixing in a big bowl. So, Easy. big bowl, sweet potato in. We've also got crab meat, so this has come out of a tin, but get the ones that's got nice big chunks. That can all go in. And then this is the mashed potato, so no added milk or butter mm -hmm. if you're making a creamy mashed potato. It's literally just mashed potatoes. So that can go in. Boom. One egg binds it. This is my favourite type of cookie in the world, just chuck <laughs> it in a bowl. But do you know what? You can get away with that because the end result, all the flavours in here, particularly with the prawn mm. and the crab, they're quite fishy flavours. So they impart an amazing amount of flavour, extra egg yolk, nice. without having to make it too complicated, too fussy. Yeah. So next up, you're going to do the prawns. These are just the small little Atlantic prawns that I've already cooked. We bought them like that, you can buy the frozen ones and defrost them. If you just run a knife yep. through those, just to chop them up so they're a similar sort of size to our crab, and I'm going to take a bunch of chives and do exactly the same thing over here. And you'll see from this, the chives still pretty chunky as well. Nothing is too fancy in this, although the flavours are amazing. In with all of your prawns, a generous pinch of black pepper, plenty of salt. And later on when we serve them, we'll serve them with a, a quite a hefty squeeze of lemon juice over as well. Mm. We're not going to put lemon inside. And then, Hands in. in your fingers, squelch and scrunch these all up. And the thing with this is once you've got it to this stage, you can freeze it. You can either shape them into fish cakes, lay them on a tray and freeze them, and then they're just fish cakes ready to go and you just put them through the oven whenever you want. Yeah. Or you can just put it in a sandwich bag as one big block oh. and use it another point. As soon as you're happy that it's all mixed together, we want to take tennis ball sized pieces. That's a pretty flat tennis ball. Well, that's, mine's a tennis ball. And then flatten them out. But, you oh. wanna, but before you flatten them, you want to squeeze it all out. So go ball shaped first and squeeze it and compact it and then start to flatten. And this is where it gets a bit fancy. This is completely optional, but we've got some large raw tiger prawns. This makes it fancy and posh. And we're just going to take one and sort of press it into the fish cake. What you end up with is like a fossilised prawn and it's just a nice touch. Now obviously the mashed potato's cooked, but the sweet potato isn't. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is a relatively high heat, we've got some oil, we're going to fry them, kind of flash fry them, a minute or so on each side to get a nice golden colour, transfer them onto a tray and finish them in the oven. So prawn side down to get that fossilised look into the oil and give them a little bit of colour. We're going to demonstrate with four, but there's plenty of mix here to make eight fish cakes, two per portion, four servings. At this point, the fish cakes go into an oven, a really hot oven, so 220 degrees Celsius. That way, they'll continue to crisp up on the outside, cook through, but without the agitation of the pan. And there we go, straight out of the oven, you've got all those awesome Wicked. crispy bits on top, soft mashed potato inside, which has been enriched with that egg yolk. And you can still see that prawn sat mm -hmm. right on top. And there we go. Two very simple, super fancy fresh fish cakes. That's a long title. Sorted. Allow me with the lemon. Well, I'm digging straight in. That is a special fish cake. And now I know what you mean. It's like a crab patty from under the sea. That is very, very fancy. And your fossilised prawn looks pretty mm. cool on top. Yep, you should definitely try and make this and upload a photo of your efforts to sorted food and share it with the entire community. Please do that. You will appreciate it. Mm.